Uh, my name is Jeff Gordon, and uh, I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt for the last two years. Uh, I received my black belt from Tony Passos, who is a uh, black belt under Ricardo de la Riva. Uh, I'm on uh, Team Passos and uh, also Team uh, Atos, which is the Andre Galvão team. Jiu-Jitsu, well the definition of Jiu-Jitsu is uh, gentle art. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu is a grappling art, so the goal of a Jiu-Jitsu fighter is to clinch with his opponent and to use leverage and technique to take him to the ground so he can apply submissions such as uh, arm bars, wrist locks, leg locks. Uh, it's attacking the joints and also chokes. Um, it's the total polar opposite of striking. So you need space to strike, let's say boxing or Muay Thai to hit and punch. Well, the whole idea is for Jiu-Jitsu fighters to, is to clinch, close that gap, and then take the, the ground to the fight to the ground. Uh, I've been doing Jiu-Jitsu for 12 and a half years, started in 2002, and uh, I've been doing martial arts since 1992. When I first started off with karate, and then uh, I started doing uh, 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 some, some Filipino martial arts for a few years and uh, then I started doing a, a little bit of Krav Maga and then in 2002 I started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And Jiu Jitsu is for everyone. <laughs> That's a, you know, I'm a little guy. Jiu Jitsu is for everyone. That's the awesome thing about it. Because you can, t when you're on the ground everything changes. You can use angles and uh, leverage to be able to control your opponent. It's really like trying to make your, your the opponent like a puppet. So uh, it has tremendous uh, leverage base. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you can see a, a much smaller person can defend themselves against a much larger post person. Uh, a good example is that in the UFC, when it first started in 1993, Hoist Gracie is six feet one, 175 pounds, was fighting men who were as tall or taller than him and who were over excess over 275 to 300 pounds. And by taking his opponents to the ground, he was able to apply leverage and technique uh, to be able to submit his opponents. Belt levels. It takes uh, anywhere from a year to two years to get a blue belt. It takes uh, about uh, four to six years to get a purple. Uh, it takes seven to nine to get a brown. And it can take from nine to 14 years to get a black belt. So the beauty of Jiu Jitsu is that what Jiu Jitsu teaches you, it teaches you uh, obviously to respect yourself, but it, to respect others. Uh, when you're rolling on the mat, you have uh, your opponent's kind of life in your hand. You have their joints, you have their neck, so it really teaches you how to respect the body. Jiu Jitsu is a is phenomenal uh, art. Besides learning the body mechanics and how things work, uh, it really teaches you uh, how to be self-esteem, how to deal with your own issues, your own anxiety, and it's not just fighter against fighter. It's a tremendous amount of chess playing. It's like the game of chess. It's very, very, very strategic. You always want to, a good jiu-jitsu player will think two and three steps, I'm gonna move here to get him to move here so I can go here, I can go here. So it's, it's not just a physical game, it's also a mental game. And that's the jiu-jitsu is, is super, it's the most powerful tool you can teach somebody. Teaching a child, teaching a female, uh, it is a super powerful tool. It's amazing what it can do and how it changes people. I'm training pretty much about six days a week. We're at our academy, we teach classes seven days a week. Uh, I train, uh, I have certain days I don't, so it's about five days a week I'm actually really training that I'm rolling and grappling with the students or I'm preparing for a tournament. Uh, I compete probably about three times a year. Uh, I've competed um, three times in the Pan Americans, the World Masters and Seniors, and then uh, other IBJJF, International Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation tournaments, such as the Las Vegas Open, Chicago Open, Miami Open. Uh, any tournament, I kind of, it, it's seasonal, so depending on how I'm, I'm getting ready to, to compete. The one thing that we talk about in the academy is eating clean, you know, eating good foods. Because if you're if you're out of shape or if you're overweight, uh, you know, it doesn't make you feel good. If you eat bad foods, uh, it, uh, like a tremendous amount of uh, like you know carbohydrates and stuff that creates inflammation in your joints. 
So obviously you need carbs for energy, but you know, eating smart, drinking a lot of water, trying to drink, depending on your weight, you know, a big guy can drink an excess over a gallon of water to a day. So these types of things. And it teaches you how to, to relax, you know, not to deal with stress, because there's a lot of tremendous amount of breathing that goes involved with that. Um, my life really didn't change until I started training with Professor Tony Passos. So before that, I was very technique based and I really didn't understand what was going on and he teaches a very conceptual jiu-jitsu about the body mechanics, but besides that, he's a, he's a very, very uh, disciplined uh, person and he really helped me to try to focus on besides my jiu-jitsu and my family life and, and trying to do things the right way. Um, he really was a big impact on how I think uh, and how I think about jiu-jitsu and the, the blessing I have with doing jiu-jitsu. You know, it's a blessing, they call it the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. Guys who own academies, they're very lucky that I can get up in the morning and I go to work. My work is training, learning about jiu-jitsu, learning about how the body works, and then come back and share information with my students. So three times a week I drive to Virginia. I train with uh, Professor Tony Passos and a couple other black belts and some other brown belts who are very good jiu-jitsu players and uh, push myself and, and try to learn how jiu-jitsu is so I can come back and share that with the students here. When you come in here into the academy and you're training, you forget about all life's pressures. That's the beauty of martial arts, not just jiu-jitsu. You can come here, it's very cathartic. You come here, you purge all the sweat out of your body, you, you purge all the, the stress out of your body, and after you train, it makes you feel awesome. The one thing in jiu-jitsu is that you go to the ground a lot, but the last place you want to go to is the ground. But the beauty of jiu-jitsu is like having a credit card. You know that if you're in a bad spot, you're gonna always have to sit there to protect yourself. There's a lot of other great martial arts out there. Uh, we also teach our academy judo, boxing, Muay Thai. So if you have a combination of Jiu Jitsu and you do other martial arts, it's only gonna strengthen your martial art. Anyone who doesn't do learn how to ground grapple, I believe is cheating themselves. So it really uh, is advantageous to add Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, add a qualified Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy uh, with a black belt teaching there. Qualified black belt uh, to teach you jujitsu so that uh, you can help your striking game. It all works together. It blends. See you on the mat. Obrigado.